Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in Heaven speaking with you now. The Great I Am, Yahweh. I created you, my child. I placed you on the earth at such a time as this. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You delight my heart. You have a purpose on the earth at this time. I created you to know me, to love me, to walk with me as a friend each day. Blessed child, I am reaching out my hand towards you now. Will you place your hand in mine? Will you turn your gaze towards me? Will you give unto me your love, your worship, your time? Will you pray? Blessed child, I wish to fill you full to overflowing with my Holy Spirit, with my presence, my peace, my glory, my perfection. I can change your world, I can change your day, I can change your emotions, I can heal you, I can deliver you, I can set you free. My child, I send unto you my Holy Son, my beloved, Jesus. He is your Lord, He is your King, He is your Saviour, He is your Redeemer. Put your trust in Him, my children, put your trust in His holy words. Follow Him. He will never leave you or forsake you. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He was with me from the beginning, my children. He is omnipresent, omnipotent, with me. He is one with me in heaven. He is one with the Holy Spirit. He knows me. He revealed me. He came to the earth to reveal my glory, to teach you about heaven, to reveal unto you my ways. My children, bow your knee before my son, for one day he will judge your soul. One day you will stand before him in judgment. Will you stand before him in love, adoration, Will you fall to your knees in worship? Will you praise his holy name? Will you thank him for all that he did, for dying for you, for dying on the cross, for the forgiveness of your sins, for taking the punishment that should have been yours, the things you do each day against my will, willfully, the things you do in secret, the words that you say, the confessions of your heart. I see all, my child, I see all that you do. I know your hidden thoughts. My child, you must come before my son. You must bow your knee. You must give unto him your whole heart and soul. You must repent of your sins and turn from your wicked ways. You must believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. You must ask for forgiveness in his name. But you must turn from your sin. You cannot continue to sin, my child, in my sight. You must read my Holy Bible, for in it you will learn right and wrong. How to walk along the right path how to turn from sin, wickedness, evil. You must read my holy word, my children, for it is living and active. It is my guide for your life. It is my truth. Passed down from generation to generation, I have been speaking to my prophets, my children, and they have been writing down my words just as these holy children now speak to you for me.
through my Holy Spirit. They hear my words, my children, just as those in the Bible heard my words. So I am revealing myself to this generation. I am speaking to you now one on one. Those who have ears to hear will hear my words, my message, and respond. Will this be you, my child? Is your heart open to your God this day? If you are listening to this message, then I am calling out to you to come, to bow your knee, to surrender. For you do not know which day you will pass from the earth. You do not know when your final hour will come. But when it does, my child, you will need to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. You will need to be born again to enter into paradise. And you cannot make this decision on the other side. Once you pass from the earth, it is finished. You will either pass through the wrath of my judgment by the blood of Christ, or you will be separated unto me for eternity. You will go to the place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. You will never see the light of day again. You will be separated from your family, from your friends, from your material possessions, and you will be an eternal soul of darkness. You will go to a place called Hades, a place without light. Because you have not been born again, renewed in your spirit, you have not become one with me. You must become one with me before life's end. You must recognize me as your God, your Savior, your King, your Deliverer, your Healer, your everything. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bow your knee this day, my child, for this decision that you make today is of eternal significance and the consequences my child will last for eternity my child if you have never given your life to me then say the following prayer bow your knee close your eyes and mean this prayer with all of your heart and I promise to come and I promise to save you from your sin forgive you through the blood of my son Jesus Christ and I promise that you will be filled with my Holy Presence, my Holy Spirit. Your life will be renewed, your mind renewed and transformed. You will go from glory to glory and be transformed into the image and likeness of my Son. But you must choose. I cannot make this decision for you, for I have given mankind free will to choose me, to choose life or to choose death. Where you spend eternity is up to you, my child, not me. Your decision that you make during your time on the earth determines where you will spend eternal life. I am not a harsh God, and that is why I am speaking to you this day, to warn you, to tell you there are eternal consequences for every decision you make in your lifetime. And if you are not free through the blood of the Lamb, you will be judged for every single thought, every single sin and misdemeanor, everything you did in your lifetime. And the wages for sin, my child, is death. Come to me this day. Say the following prayer and you will be saved. Heavenly Father, my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, Blessed Holy Spirit, I come before you this day, a sinner in your sight. I want to be born again. I want to be saved through the blood of Christ. I want to turn from my wicked ways. I repent of my sin. I renounce the devil. I ask to be filled with your Holy Spirit. I want to follow Christ Jesus, my Lord, 
I want to worship you night and day. I love you with my whole heart and soul, with all of my strength. I thank you that today I have been born again, my mind renewed. My life is yours. Take me and use me for your will, your glory. Please heal me of all disease. Change the way I think and act and speak. Help me to read your holy word each day. Please help me to pray, to pray for our world to pray for my family and friends, to pray for those who do not know you, to pray for our country, our nation. I want to be born again this day, Heavenly Father, with all of my heart, mind and soul. Thank you for delivering me in peace from every battle. Thank you that this day I am a Christian, a believer and follower of Christ, my Lord. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Blessed child, darling one, thank you for giving your whole heart and soul unto me this day. You will walk into heaven at life's end you will see my face. Feel my presence flowing upon you now. Feel my Holy Spirit as it descends into your soul. Feel my love, my glory, my tangible presence in your life this day. My child, from this day forward, you will be able to hear my voice. I will lead and guide you by my spirit, for my spirit now lives and dwells within you. Listen to my voice. I am an interactive God. I am not a silent God. I want to lead and guide you each day, to tell you where to go, to warn you of danger, to heal you of all disease to instruct you and lead you and edify you and rebuke you when needed. I am your father, you are my child and I love you and I want to bless you with good things. I want to bless you with life and life abundantly. I know the plans I have for you my child, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future. Feel my love, place your hand in mine and together we will walk into heaven, into paradise at life's end. You will be reunited with your family. You will see those you love again. You will not be cast out of my presence into the darkness for you have embraced me this day and I love you, and I wish to reveal my glory to you, and you will go from glory to glory, deep unto deep. Blessed child, thank you for coming before me this day. Thank you for giving unto me your heart. We will now walk together in a relationship. We will now walk together on this journey home. Holora bashi kiti kia hashi kiti kia kathere riyalo holora bashi kiti. I am pouring forth my spiritual gifts upon your life. Holora batara hashi kiti kia hasha kata kati ki. You will lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Holora bati te. You will prophesy in my name. You will declare words of wisdom, revelation, you will receive.
receive knowledge from the heavenly realm. Kolorabatiri, I will increase your faith daily. Kopotorabashikiti, Yukarabashi, you will speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues now, my child. Open your mouth. Allow the anointing to flow. Do not be afraid. I am imparting this gift to all of my believers so that they can hear my voice so clearly in the days to come. Speak in your heavenly prayer language, my child. It will edify your soul. Receive this gift. Receive it now. You need to pray in your prayer language, my child. It is a gift from heaven. Do not be afraid. Listen to the words of my Holy Bible. What does it say? Do not be afraid of the gift of tongues. Do not laugh or mock. My children who speak in tongues. It is a heavenly prayer language for you to connect you with heaven so that you can hear my voice so clearly when you interpret this language. Do not forsake the gift of speaking in tongues and pray that you might interpret. Pray now, my child, with all of your heart that you might interpret this language. Holy Father, Heavenly King, in the name of Jesus, I ask for the gift of interpretation of tongues to fall down upon my life upon the lives of those in the world. I receive your gift of interpretation of tongues. I open my ears to hear your voice, your words, your message. My child, I let you write down the interpretations that you hear. Keep a journal, a diary. Begin to write down everything that I speak with you. The words will flow. My child, these two servants of mine, my two witnesses, have already written two million words in this way for you. If you read their words, you will see. Kashakata, you will understand all I am speaking with you now. And I'm calling you to write to write down my words, and I will tell you how to release them to the nations. I want all of my Christians to hear my voice, to write down the words that I speak, and to release them. A global awakening will arise when my Christians, my believers, start to interpret tongues, start to hear my voice and release my words, my living and active words, all across the world, I am calling for my Christians to begin to write and release. Do not be afraid. Allow my words to go forth. Let it to penetrate into the hearts and minds of all my children. Let it all of my believers come to me, and I will speak to you one on one. So that Lady Horabashi can pour forth my spirit globally to all of your family and friends and neighbors. Let her release my words. Gosho Kotoko, now is the time. You know, you can all Horabashi do not hold back. Korabashi Ketekeda Larabashiki, Heavenly Father, thank you for this word today. Thank you for releasing heaven on earth. Thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We receive the gift of healing, prophecy, tongues, faith, interpretation of tongues, words of knowledge, words of wisdom. 
O oh Lord, the gift of miracles pour forth across the lands that we will karahashiki lay hands and see miracles. Halaherahashika, the miracle power of God through the Holy Spirit. Aloha in Jesus' name, release your miracles throughout the world. Things that astound us, things that are impossible. Koloha doctor's reports. That can only be described as miraculous, miraculous healings. Inexplicable things happening across the world that can only be accredited to you, God. That eyes will see the wonders of our God, the miraculous outpouring of your Holy Spirit in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives, changing, renewing, transforming miracles. Blessed child, open your spiritual eyes to see. Where are you this day, my child? Heavenly Father, I am standing before you. You are an all-consuming fire. I see you as fire this day. Step into the fire, my child. I walk, unafraid. Into the fire, it does not burn me. It is the refining fire of God. The purifying fire, it is cleansing my soul burning off anything, any impurity, all sin and wickedness melting away. The fiery furnace of his love, O oh Lord, fall to my face in the fire. I need the fire. O oh Lord, and I want to be pure before you, completely pure, holy, righteous. Let no sin attach itself to me and break the chains. I see chains melting, chains which held me to the earth melting away. I see myself praying in spirit, lifting up my praise before God. For he alone is worthy. He alone is holy. Rise before me, my child, and walk through the flame. I feel like I have bare feet, but the flame is not burning. I am in spirit. You are being cleansed, my child, completely cleansed, your mind renewed. You will be pure before me. I see a book before me. It's in a language I do not understand. The pages are turning. Blessed one, my two witnesses in the world, you are revealing the words from this book. These are not your words. These words have already been written, predestined in my heavenly realm for the nations of this time. You listen and you declare. You speak forth my words to the nations. Elehede, you hear my voice. You are revealing the words of my holy books upon the land, my scrolls. Olohorapa all has been prophesied. Aleri onoho, every word in my holy Bible must come to pass before the return of Jesus Christ. Time draws near. My prophecies, my final prophecies, are now being fulfilled. My holy words, the words that were sealed until the end, are being released. They will not return void. This is the last message of your Father. To my children. Come to me, my children. Listen to these words. Read my holy Barahashikiti scroll that I have released through these two servants. Koroboshiki, the little scroll, is being released at this time, right now. 
Listen to my words. I will speak to you through these words. I will change your life. These children are only vessels for my words. They are just messengers. They are being obedient. My words, my children, listen to them. Read them. They are for you, written for you, from me. In the name of my Holy Son, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Go forward this day in my love, in my peace, under my protection, in my blessings, now and forever. Amen.